Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, August 20th, 2019. Um, we are almost at the end of August, you guys. Like, summer is going. Summer is swiftly moving on um but anyway so this is going to be a general energy reading please take what resonates and leave what doesn't um keep in mind that this is this is a general readings and also time is an illusion and energies are fluid all right so just because it res it's coming through today it doesn't mean it has to resonate today yes um and also keep in mind that this is not specific to anything this is not love career or sign specific um but with that said, there are some things that I want to mention. As I was channeling today's energies, two things I wanted to notice, uh, I wanted to make note of. Well, actually, first, we go, before I go any further, you guys are probably going to hear some sort of construction noises going on. Uh, that would be this demolition crew in the process of breaking up all the rubble from the building that they tore down, building 144. Yes, you heard that correctly. Building 144. Um, I want to point that out. So you might hear there's literally like a like some sort of like um, it's whatever. There's something they're 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 making a bunch of noise. So that's what that is. Okay. Um, and yes, they did tear down building 144. Now here's the other thing that I want to mention. Um, as I was channeling today's energies, I kept making these Freudian slips in my mind. First, the first one was I was just, you know, getting into the mode and saying, you know, collective general messages for the collective. And I heard divine connections. OK, so we're probably talking about divine connections today. And then as I was moving forward, then my thought process was like, well, wait a second. People have been asking about, you know, doing these, doing, getting me getting back into like twin flame or divine connection readings. And I've been saying that I'm going to do it. But then I realized I've been doing it on a daily basis. I just haven't really labeled it that way. So if you want to go back and watch these readings um, again from the perspective of maybe this has to do with a divine connection for you, then go ahead and do that. But I am going to get into specific divine masculine, divine feminine readings. The second Freudian slip I was making was I, in my mind as I was speaking the date and like, you know, channeling the energies for the day, I kept wanting to say May or March. I wanted to say May the most, but in some cases I also wanted to say March. I don't know how that may be relevant for you. Um, maybe something happened this past May or this past March, maybe last year, the year before, or maybe something is coming. I'm hearing for some of you, something is coming through to fruition by around May or March. I guess you could say springtime between May and March. It's, it's possible. But also, I, don't get caught up on the timing, all right? Don't get caught up on the time frame because that's literally what they're saying right now in this current moment, but that could change, okay? Sorry, my lips are a little dry. That absolutely could change. It could be, it could be sooner, it could be later. You know, it all just, it all depends. So don't get caught up on the date, but I did want to point that out. Now, we have your pre-shuffle energies here. The first card to come out was the Four of Cups, which is in reverse. Um, and it's the card of someone, uh, uh, the Four of Cups is a, cup, is a card of boredom, maybe unrequited love, maybe a missed opportunity. It is in reverse, okay? And at first that was pretty good. And I was like, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. And then the Ten of Wands came out. I was like, okay, that's not that bad either. Um, in this side of the Ten of Wands, though, you have this individual who's walking towards, I will say his home or these homes that are back here, walking back to the village, walking back to the town with all of these Ten Wands, neatly bundled on his back. That Now that I want to make clear, both sides of the card have that, actually. There's this side and then there's this side. But this side is the one that came out. I feel like somebody, either you're getting over a relationship <clears throat> or someone here might be stuck in some sort of energy of feeling like there might be an unrequited love situation 
or maybe some sort of missed opportunity in a relationship, okay? Um, and someone's just quietly carrying the burden of this. They're just quietly going on about their day. I feel like either... Now, maybe this could deal with a current situation is what I'm feeling, or it could be a past situation that you're just working on getting over. Like it was an unrequited love or a missed opportunist opportunity type situation, okay? And it's it's almost like with this four of cups in reverse, it's like you're you've been perpetually in this energy of the of feeling this missed opportunity. We'll just call it that. Um, just to <laughs> just to consolidate, so I don't have to be, say as many words, but we'll call it a missed opportunity for right now. But it, and it, either it looks like it feels or it feels like it's going to stay that way. And so this would be why this Four of Cups is in reverse here for some of you. Because for some of you, this feels like it's just a, um, like it's almost like it's set in stone, that it's always going to be like this. And so therefore, someone just continues to carry on carrying the burden because there really is nothing else that they can do. And then the Eight of Swords came out and that kind of confirmed it. Um confirm that someone is feeling like there really is nothing else that I can do other than just carry these burdens. Now, here's the thing though, because the eight of swords can either be an energy of you being in some sort of mental prison and needing to cut yourself out of it, or it could be you purposefully putting yourself in this mental, in these mental confines. I want to say for lack of a better reason other than just to do it, other than you feel like you're obligated. There's really nothing else you can do but be in this confined state. Now, overall energy, you have the Six of Pentacles, which is in reverse. And I do believe this, didn't this come out yesterday? <laughs> Something like that. And then on the other side, you have the Two of Cups. And on this side of the card, it's nighttime, all right? So this could talk about a secret relationship, relationship um, and, and that doesn't mean that you're like uh, a mistress or something like that. Um, what would the male equivalent of a mistress be? Anyway, um, it doesn't mean you're like the, 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 you know, the third wheel, you know, the side chick, the side dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? It could just be that. Uh, I'm hearing this could be an unrequited love situation. Um, it could be something that never came through to fruition, something that, or it could just be something that isn't really talked about right now, or, or this could be the beginning stages of a relationship, and someone is just maybe you're just freaking out, thinking that it's worse than it already is. So that Four of Cups energy, this Four of Cups in reverse could be, no, this is not what you think. And you're carrying these burdens for no reason here. You should cut yourself out of this mental prison. But also at the same time, this Eight of Swords kind of feels like someone has purposefully put themselves there for good reason, I guess. Maybe to control, like it, the Eight of Swords appeared yesterday under the King of Swords. And I felt like the masculine, I was saying the masculine was in a place of like, you know, trying to keep their, their mind in check, not trying to run amok here. Now this Ten of Wands could also symbolize the burdens that keep the re relationship from flo from flourishing, the burdens that would keep some sort of reciprocity here from coming through with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like that's a blockage. I do feel like somebody wants to exchange, engage in this balance, give and take, and yet somehow they can't, and it's because of these ten of these ten wands. This could have to do with um, travel. This could have to do with family obligations. I am, travel has been coming out a lot lately in a lot of different readings. But specifically here, 
for some reason, I'm seeing some sort of um, family ties or, um, how do I want to say it? What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, almost like a, a like um, allegiances towards certain countries or it's just, I don't know if that's making sense, but. <laughs> The biggest burden could be the distance between the two of you. We'll say it that way. And it's not an unrequited love situation that, like you might think. I really do feel like someone might be just telling themselves this is what it is. Maybe to keep them from getting hurt, keep themselves from getting hurt, maybe from keeping themselves from getting disappointed, something like that, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's 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 move forward. Of course, my nose was fine. All, literally, it was fine all morning, you guys. And now that I'm sitting here channeling and doing this reading for you, it wants to act up. I am so sorry, but it's fine. It really is. It's an effect. It's an effect of channeling for me. My third eye has been getting stronger, but it's also, it's freaking out a lot more. <laughs> So I'll, I'll balance out, don't worry. Don't, it's literally, like literally my sinuses are, are flaring up right now. And I, my nose was fine, all, literally, like all morning, up until I started channeling, but you know what, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine, no, really, it's fine. <laughs> all right, kids, here we go. Let me give this one more shuffle, and then we will get into it for the day. Okay, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, August 20th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, um, the big colors that I'm seeing today are green and blue. And yes, I am wearing this green shirt here. And actually, the, the shade of blue that I'm seeing is similar to my nail here. Okay. Um, and I was, seeing, I was seeing a bunch of different colors. I'm going to do this five shuffles today. I was seeing a bunch of colors earlier before I started recording. Um, but now that I'm settling into the energy for today, I am seeing green like an emerald green of the shirt that I'm wearing and this like light blue, okay? And I'm seeing it in terms of the heart chakra and the throat chakra. So there's definitely some sort of heart-centered communications that could be coming through, that want to be coming through, speaking some sort of truth. That was three. Give us two more shuffles here. For your Tuesday, August 20th. One more shuffle for the collective. All right. Okay. Let me get a sip of coffee here. All right, kids, let's see what we've got. Tuesday, August 20th. The best messages, please, spirit. All right. Tuesday, August 20th. All right, that's enough right there. Okay, all right. Ooh, okay. We have the Fool. Fool is in reverse though. Oh, well, would you look at that? Did y'all see that? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. If you didn't, I would suggest that you rewind and watch that again and see how these cards just flipped out of the deck. But now that that's happened, it's completely changed the narrative, okay? I'm gonna explain, but we were starting with the Fool. It's, it was in reverse, it's no longer in reverse. I'll show you in a second, but now we have the Two of Wands. I am getting such a strong travel energy 
such a strong tribal energy. And I was seeing it in the, in the fool. And now I'm, I'm definitely seeing it in the two of wands here. All right. There is a big choice that someone wants to make, needs to make. Underneath the deck, we do have the ten of cups, but it is in reverse. That's not a bad thing. Um, it's not a bad thing. All right. We also have... The five of, oh shit, the five of pentacles, the four of pentacles, and the devil. Yep, that's the devil, all right. The five and the four of pentacles are in reverse. All right, so now let's talk about this. The fool came flying out of the deck along with another card, and it turned upright. You have the nine of pentacles so the very clear message that I'm getting right now is that someone wants to take a leap of faith needs to take a leap of faith um, is in a position in which they are they are needing to make a choice about where it is they want to take their life Happiness and fulfillment is on the horizon, is here. Love, even. The ideal relationship, the ideal partnership, potentially. But it's blocked. And it's blocked because of this shit. Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, but mostly the devil. Someone is rooted, is rooted, stuck in an energies of lack of... Um, there are so many weird things being said in my head right now. Like I'm hearing words like disembowelment, which in, when you think about it, it makes sense. <laughs> um, some, someone feels like they don't have the guts. They don't have, they're not adequate enough. They're not good enough. They're not strong enough. They don't have enough finances. You're rooted rooted in this five of pentacles four of pentacles you're stuck feeling like you don't have enough feeling like you aren't enough feeling like you can't have enough feeling like you will never be enough all of that all of that is the devil and this could this could be a situation in which the devil or these fears uh are keeping you from an ideal partnership. Because I am seeing the devil standing in between these two individuals, the same individuals that are on the lovers. The devil is like the dark side of the lovers, okay? And because it's facing this way, it's this side of the card, specifically there is a very clear message that I'm getting that it is the devil that is keeping you two apart. It is fear, it is, it is, it is all of this. And this is mostly on the masculine side, I'm not going to lie. That's what I'm feeling. This is mostly on the masculine side, okay? Interesting. The hanged man is under the two of wands here, and it's in reverse. So what I want to say is I feel like someone should have enough of a perspective right now to face the devil here and release themselves from this. Now... I say that, and as I'm saying that, I'm thinking, well, wait a second, Eric, because the narrative did change, remember? At first, the, 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 the spread started like this, you see, with the fool in reverse. But then, of course, my hand hit the deck in just so perfect of a way to throw these two cards out, okay? And now they land on the table face up. And you have the fool with the nine of pentacles. So maybe someone is finally getting the balls, the cojones, the, the, the guts to take a leap of faith. It's as if someone is starting to believe in their abundance, nine of pentacles. Their autonomy. They're, they're, I'm, I'm getting a very strong sense of someone starting to realize that they literally could do anything. They are not limited. They are not bound by borders. 
whatever those borders may be. Maybe they're 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 um, state borders. Maybe they are um, uh, uh, country borders. Maybe they are uh, uh, ideolo ideologies, thoughts, beliefs that are your borders. This is definitely, this is definitely a, um, a continuation of yesterday's needing, uh, take the leap of faith reading. Are we ready to get, okay, we're going to go into the clarification section now. Now here's the thing, before I really clarify, here's the thing that I like about how this spread it looks right now. Even though we have the devil here and I don't like the devil and we also have the four and the five of pentacles, I don't like either of those either. Those two are in reverse. The devil is upright. So what I'm seeing here is there is illumination here. There's a chance to for revealing the things that are holding you back. It's like, it's almost as if whatever is holding you back right now is staring you right in the face and that's perfect that is beautiful why because now you have a chance to be aware of it to make some sort of change you couldn't make it you couldn't change it before if you didn't know what it was right but now that it's now that it's staring you right in the face it's like oh well there's my problem right there i keep hearing unrequited love but the the message keeps getting cut off It's something like unrequited, base, it, it, what it sounds like, what it feels like is energies of unrequited love are not the circumstance here. I don't feel like it's unrequited. Someone might be telling themselves that in order to feel safe. But with the devil card here, and also the Ten of Cups that is here. Look, 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 you guys, look. This Ten of Cups here, in which you have the two individuals that have found each other. It looks like they are, they washed up on this deserted island, but they have each other. They found, they finally found each other. And everything is gonna be okay. You see that rainbow above them? Well, it's in reverse. There's a blockage right now. Good golly, my, oh man, my sinuses are like, you don't understand, my third eye is in overdrive right now. I'm feeling it in my forehead, I'm feeling it in the back of my head, I'm feeling it in my sinuses, like, oh, this is, <laughs> this is really intense. But um, I'm hearing unrequited love is not the circumstance here. You're just telling yourself that so that you don't feel let down or disappointed this person this person loves you i don't know who that's for there's really no need i guess they're saying there's no need to yeah page of cup look at that the page of cups is underneath the deck Ugh. new love either you really love this person or this person really loves you or maybe it's both of you I feel like it could be both of you, especially with this devil energy, with like what I'm feeling of like this, the, literally it's the devil that's standing in between these two individuals, these counterparts, these, this, this masculine and feminine counterparts. Okay. All right. Let's get some clarity on this. Two more shuffles. Last one. They keep repeating it. Unrequited love is not the circumstance here. It may have been in the past. Don't get us wrong, they're saying. It may have been in the past. But now, for this situation that we're talking about here, it is not unrequited love. It's the motherfucking devil. Fears, anxieties, obligations, burdens. The Ten of Wands. 
that came out in the beginning of the reading, in the, in the pre-shuffle, yes? Okay, let's see what we got. Just some, I'm just gonna get some general, over actually, you know what? I do wanna split it up. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna start with the devil, with the four and the five of pentacles, which are in reverse here. Let's get some clarity on this, please, spirit. Is someone overcoming this? The Hierophant, ooh, with the two of swords. Oh boy, oh boy, more, okay. We have two of swords, the Hierophant. What else came out here? Um, the Queen of Pentacles. Overall energy, look at that. There's the King of Swords again. All right. So what, do we, what else? There's something else with the Hierophant here. The King of Cups. Ooh, chow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Hierophant, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Good golly. Masculine energy. The masculine is very much in love here, is very much in his feelings. All right, so what I'm getting with this, you have the masculine energy here, who is very much in love, very much probably in tune with his, his emotions. Um, I do feel like this person is quite emotionally mature, or at least is, emotion, is, 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 is uh, aware of his emotions, and is not not trying to suppress them. He may not be expressing them fully 100%, but the, the, the thing is that he's not trying to suppress him, suppress his emotions, okay? Even though he may not necessarily be sharing them. With the Hierophant, I'm getting a commitment energy. What I'm seeing here is someone, a masculine energy, whether it's a man or a woman, who, who is just um, uh, more masculinely dominant in energy, is recognizing the wife material, the wifey status of someone else, queen of pentacles, and is wanting to do the right thing by her. That's the thing that I'm getting, especially with this king of swords here underneath the deck. Wanting to do the right thing by this queen of pentacles, all right? But doesn't know how to do it. Two of swords. Can't see clearly on how to do it. Is indecisive. Again, is being stopped by these feelings of inadequacy. I'm gonna pause there, okay? Because I wanna get some advice for that Two of Swords specifically. But now I wanna talk about this Nine of Pentacles with the Fool. Both are nighttime scenes, okay? So it's almost as if as the sun has set now, someone is dreaming about this. And then with the Two of Wands here, it looks like the sun is rising. So it's almost as if someone may have gone through some sort of dark night of the soul energy that helped them reassess, reorganize, uh, figure out or understand that they do have the autonomy, I want to say the audacity, to make this big leap of faith. Go ahead and do it. And now as the sun is rising, someone may be choosing, maybe starting to see clearly enough to choose, okay. All right, let me, let's get some clarity here and then we'll move forward for this Nine of Pentacles and then the Fool, please, Spirit. Because these jumped out at us, remember? So let's get some clarity for this, please, Spirit. Nine of Pentacles and the Fool. That's enough, they say. All right. Three of Cups, Seven of Cups, the Emperor, <laughs> <laughs> and the King of Swords again. Oof, okay. Um, th yeah, this basically, so we're talking, we're talking about the masculine here. This is definitely a reading for the masculine, like, like, I, was, like I was picking up before. Um, but this is definitely a situation in which someone is like, someone is coming, is coming into union with themselves. Okay, three of cups, body, mind, and spirit. It's also, this is a celebration from the universe. That's what I'm, a, a, a congratulations. It's almost as if someone has finally, with this three of cups, what I'm getting is that someone has finally decided to take their power back, to own their power, 
the emperor, right? And so it was through a lot of emotional confusion. I want to clarify this seven of cups too. Um, okay. I do want to clarify the seven of cups. So I'm going to go to the gilded, I'm sorry, the golden universal tarot. And I want to clarify the seven of cups. And then I want to clarify the two of swords. The seven of cups first. Because that I'm a little unclear on. Because what it feels like, it feels like there are, it's like now that you've come into this realization, now you have all these options ahead of you of how you can proceed. But then also it could feel, it does kind of feel like a past energy in, sense, in the sense of you have, ooh, okay, well that just wanted to jump out. Ah, yep. There's the five of pentacles coming out in reverse here. Oh, two of swords in reverse, seven of swords in reverse, uh, seven of swords upright. Secrecy. There's no more indecision, and yet someone's being really quiet about about something. Something's being pretty de almost deceptive. I really don't want to say deceptive, but it could be. I mean, it is. It is. I'm gonna get one more shuffle, and then I want to clarify the Seven of Cups one more time here. Yes, it's definitely a situation in which someone is um, letting go of feelings of lack, all right, inadequacy. But what is the Seven of Cups specifically, please, Spirit? Seven of Cups here, please. Just some clarity on the Seven of Cups. And they're saying you got the clarity already. All right, well, Five of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Swords in reverse, but the Seven of Swords upright. It's just, you're just, someone's just being quiet about it they're not really wanting to talk about it too much they're not really wanting to say anything about it right now it might be that they the seven of cups actually is options and how to take action how do you want to take action yeah yeah tell me that's the king of wands it sure is the king of wands with the six of wands you see all right <laughs> all right yeah and the knight of swords okay um communication Swift movement, hasty movement, shoot first, ask questions later type energy. But this also feels like that Knight of Shining Armor. This feels like someone wanting to just rush forward and just do it. All right. Now I want to get some, I, I do, I want to get some advice here. For those of you that are still in some sort of two of swords energy, energy, some sort of indecisiveness, because even though I feel like someone is getting ready to take the leap of faith, is about to come rushing forward with this knight of swords energy, there's still a little bit of indecision on how to do this, how to accomplish this. All right, so let's get some clarity on this two of swords, some guidance, some understanding here. Six of, wow, travel. Yep, six of swords, king of pen, damn. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Six of Swords, <clears throat> King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, with the Knight of Wands underneath the deck. There is the counterpart to that queen. Okay, so part of this indecision here for you masculines, this Two of Swords, is you are not allowing yourself to recognize that you are, in fact, very much a solid match for this Queen of Pentacles. You absolutely can be, you, you may even be already. Maybe if you know of each other, maybe she already sees this in you, but you absolutely are capable of aligning with this Queen of Pentacles, of providing this Queen of Pentacles with what she deserves. He or she, it doesn't matter. We're talking energy here, okay? You are absolutely adequate. You absolutely are adequate. And the advice here is just to follow your heart. If you have to cross an ocean for this person, if you have to cross state lines for this person, if uh, whatever, if you have to, what, whatever your leap of faith is, follow your heart. I'm really getting an energy of needing to, even if you're not like, whatever, even if you're not, you know, traveling to different countries or whatnot, whatever, it could feel that way because of the thoughts, beliefs, whatnot that you've been holding, right? 
but it's better for you to just leave the past behind you and go where go towards what your heart is leading you towards because you never know what could come of it and honestly here look you have the king of wands with the six of wands on this side so for those of you that are literally taking your power back and saying no this is what i want i've gone through i've gone through all the emotions i've weeded through all of the emotions i i i've figured out what was toxic and what wasn't I've made my decision. Three of Cups. That's what the universe is kind of celebrating here. You've made your decision. You're taking your power back. And in doing so, you know exactly what it is you what, what it is you want with the King of Wands. And you're not afraid to go after it. Or at least potentially you don't have to be afraid to go after it. And victory will come of it. Six of Wands. This absolutely is a masculine reading. A divine masculine reading. Look at all of this masculine energy. We only got one queen. One queen, and it's the queen of pentacles. Whomever it is that you are connecting with masculines, even if you don't know this person yet, because it's entirely possible that you don't know this person yet, but even if you do, whether you do or you don't, this person, this feminine energy, your feminine counterpart is very much grounded, rooted, and ready to go. She is very much her own person. And she's ready to have a family. She's ready to start a build a life. She's ready for whatever it is that you two are desiring individually that is helping you align with each other. Hello, King of Pentacles to the end, the Queen of Pentacles. This, you are counterparts, all right? Masculine, you do have what it takes to be the partner for this person. It may not necessarily look the way your ego wants it to. Maybe that's what's standing in your way. Maybe that's what's, what this two of swords is. Maybe that's your ego saying, no, I, no, no. What? Come on. You, no, you can't be serious. I could never, I could never, I could never align with someone as fabulous as that. <laughs> oh, really? Why do you doubt yourself so much? Here, let me, let me throw a real wrench in your system. What if this Queen of Pentacles is saying the same thing about you? Ooh, I could never, I could never align with someone like him. Now, granted, I don't think she's saying that. <laughs> she's not, okay, she's not. But I just wanted to like, what if? Why are you any less worthy, masculine? Why? Why? Ain't nothing to it but to do it, buddy. Okay? That's all I got to say about that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get your, let's close out the reading here with your oracle guidance. No gilded reverie today. Or us, uh, well, yeah, that's, it's gilded reverie, but no Lenormand also. Woo! Oh my. Okay, we're gonna try that again. Okay. Oh, one last shuffle. All right. Okay. Here we go, guys. Closing message, Oracle guidance here. Ooh. Okay. Damn. We got two. Card number 12, Angel Raziel and Pietrasite, Storm Wisdom, and card number 52, Goddess Durga and Hematite, Spear of the Guru Mother. Yo, masculines, just fucking do it, my dude. Like, yo, on some real shit, man. We're going to get into this in a second. I'm going to read it for you, but Spear of the Guru Mother? Shh. All right. Hold on a second. We'll get there. Let's start. <laughs> Let's start with card number 12. Storm Wisdom. Good golly. Good golly. <laughs> I'm being so dramatic right now. Okay, here we go. We bring you the gift of Storm Wisdom. This is the fierce, cleansing nature of divine compassion made manifest in the world. 
Storm wisdom thrills the spirit, for it understands that so much benefit and liberation will come from the process. Yet the mind may quake at the prospect of such little control over how your life events are unfolding for a time. What is happening during an experience of storm wisdom is that anything that has become stagnant or obstructing to your spiritual growth will be uprooted. You may find that the divine storm of transformation powering through your life creates a feeling of upheaval, creative chaos, uncertainty, and excitement. You may feel simul uh, uh, simultaneously liberated and exhilarated whilst also wondering if everything is going to be okay. You must remember that you will only be asked to give up something in order to receive that which is far more beautiful and supportive of your sacred life journey. You must also remember that the cleansing power of the storm will revitalize you, bring you fresh energy and perspective to take forward in your journey, and is a divine blessing which will only bring good into your life. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna say a word. Card number 52, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Spear of the Guru Mother, is that it? Oh, right, okay, let's see. Card number 52, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being such a bitch right now. <laughs> okay, here we go. We bring you the empowerment of Spear of the Guru Mother. Sometimes there is so much choice that we struggle to commit. It is often not an issue of unwillingness to make an effort, but concern that the choice might not be the quote, right choice. We might pray to the universe to be shown what to do according to a wisdom greater than our own. Although our free will is always in place, we are able to accept a task divinely given or reject it. The universe answers every prayer. In your heart, you have been asking for guidance to be shown what you need to do in a particular situation, or perhaps more generally, in your life at this time. You want to know the best way forward so your actions are in alignment with heaven. In response, you have now become the spear of the Guru Mother. There's something else that I want to read in this. Okay, here we go, here we go. Um, wait. Okay, I'm going to read these two paragraphs. The oracle comes to you with this understanding. If the divine gives you a task, you can handle it. Even if you are going to need to grow, you have it within to complete it successfully. When the universe gives you an opportunity or life situation to work through, it is giving you a vote of confidence. The divine mother says to you, here is my will. I'll empower you. Now go for it. If you want to take her advice, don't hesitate or doubt. Be as focused and forward, forward moving as you were, as if you were the spear that she had thrown with her almighty hand and flawless aim, heading straight towards the center of the target. When the oracle of spear of the guru mother comes to you, you are being told your efforts have divine power behind them. The situations in your life you are willing to grapple with are going to resolve far more quickly and potently than you may have believed possible. The power of your own efforts, amplified with divine will, creates extraordinary movement. Distraction, procrastination, and hesitation shall not touch you. Your focus will be complete and your task shall be attained. The trust you feel in yourself and the divine will increased it, uh, increase, I'm sorry, the trust you feel within yourself and the divine will increase because of this. You will gain more confidence in yourself. You'll become game for bigger and bolder challenges. The universe will be able to ask more of you and give you more because you shall be increasingly open to it. The risk you take at this time with absolute intention will bring you so much more than, the re than a resolution of the task at hand. And the, the word risk came out uh, was a thing yesterday remember because we were using the lenormand deck for some clarity and the dice came out there's some sort of risk there's some sort of gamble here that someone is facing and it really feels like what you could be gaining from taking this risk making this choice taking this leap of faith moving in this direction is far greater than what you really could be expecting that's two days in a row that that message has come through. And it came through even more today because we needed, to, because the masculine, some, there were some masculines out there that needed to hear this message. So 
if you're coming in on this late, like you didn't see the previous one for the 19th of August, you might want to watch that reading, okay? These readings lately have very much, ever since I started using the um, Vice Versa Tarot deck here, this first deck, these readings have been consistent daily, like this consistent messages, like to a almost scary point. It's really cool. But okay, there it is, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.